yesterday the most beautiful WordPress block theme that I've ever seen so far was released. It's called Basti and it heralds the future of Gutenberg full site editing block themes. Basti is great for three main reasons. Number one, the design is beautiful with enormous amounts of detail paid to the creative layout and flow. Number two, Basti only relies on the core WordPress blocks for its wonderful design. So you don't need any additional plugins and you won't suffer from any future technical debt. Thirdly, Basti has the best designed and most comprehensive block patterns that I've ever seen. Again, these block patterns only use the core Gutenberg blocks. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick demo of the most exciting parts of Basti, but I've also set you up a one-click website, link in the description below, if you want to take it for a quick spin. One thing to note before I dive into the demo, Basti is not free. It's a commercial WooCommerce theme that costs $79. Right, let's get into the demo. After you install the Basti theme, you can either build your site from scratch or you can use one of their preset starter sites to get you there more quickly. Here's a very quick glimpse on the starter sites and it installs all the demo content and all the block patterns and everything you might want to see. I think these are really lovely actually. Again, the designs are so well thought through and so beautiful, which leads me on to the design. This is the one I actually installed. This is the yoga starter site. I just think the design is so clean and so beautiful with loads and loads of white space to let everything breathe. It's beautifully laid out. It's got special styles for certain elements as well. So if this is aimed at WooCommerce sites primarily, you could use it for a non-WooCommerce site as well. But it's got really special things like the, the WooCommerce grid. It takes it and styles it in a really, really lovely way. Some of the buttons have some amazing details on them. So this is the drop shadow button. That's just a style variation in the buttons block, which I'll show you. But we also have some amazing block patterns that have like an underline button style, which I'll also show you, which is really cool. So they're just using the core Gutenberg blocks, but I think the style is really, 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 really elegant. That's what's so beautiful about this. And they've used block patterns in such creative ways that I haven't really seen before. And I'm gonna dive into some detail and show you some of the cool things they've done with block patterns. I just wanna talk quickly about style variations. And again, this is an area where this theme really shines. So for example, I've added the buttons block into this section here. And over on the right, can you see we've got different styles for this? This has been added by the theme. This is just the core Gutenberg block, but we've got some extra options to style it. And there's some really beautiful things. That's what I love about this is the quality of the design. We've seen some of this stuff before, but it's the quality of the execution that's just so fantastic. So we've got outline, outline shadow. I kind of like that one. We've got a 3D button, which is the one I showed you before on the home page. Uh, that one there, which is 3D button dark. Then the button line, which I just think is really cool. Just puts a little underline under, under the button. Let me show you that in practice. There it is. I just think that's so simple and elegant. And that's the same with every little detail on this theme. They've just taken the core Gutenberg blocks and they've really, really designed them beautifully. The columns block also has some nice style variations as well. Here's an example of it. This is the hover style. So as I hover over these columns, you get this lovely, elegant drop shadow. Again, that's just built into the core Gutenberg block just a style variation that's built into the theme. So it's fairly simple to execute, but it's beautifully done again. Let me show you this. If I click on the column here, you see over on the right, we've got different styles, default shadow, which is a permanent shadow or hover shadow. That's all I've done. I've created two columns. We look at the list view here, two columns within a columns block and I've applied that style to it. And then you get this really elegant style that just elevates the page just using the core Gutenberg blocks again. Block patterns are pre-designed collections of blocks that you can insert into your pages and then further customize. And Basti comes with some beautiful block patterns. It probably has the most beautiful block patterns I've seen so far, and certainly the most extensive range of any theme I've seen so far, I think. Uh, they're all accessed by clicking on the block inserter and then clicking on the patterns tab here. These are all the block patterns that come with Basti. You can go through them and you see a little preview on the left here. And if you wanna use one of these, you just click on them and they insert them into your site. I just want to show you two today, which I'll use block patterns or blocks in a really creative way. And I actually had to dive into each of these to work out how they did it because they're so cool. I'm going to start with this one, which is called Hero One. You just click on it and that inserts that into your page and you get this really what looks like quite an advanced layout. But if we look at the list view, we can start to understand how this has been built. And that's what I love about the Basti theme. Attention to detail on the design. The finished design is so beautiful and well thought through. We're just using core Gutenberg blocks in a really creative way to do it. So if I click on the group block here, what I was struggling to understand was how they did this sort of line here to get this background which bisects this photo. And actually the way they've done it is to add a gradient background and then set that gradient at this width here over here at a linear angle. 
to create that background on the whole entire group block. So you'll also learn stuff by using a thing like this. You'll learn how to create these designs yourself. So that's the first one. The second one I want to show you is also a hero one. This is another really cool example. Again, I'm trying to, struggling to work out how they did this, but again, what we've done here, what, what they've done here, they've used a cover block. You can see the cover block. And then if you scroll down, you can see they just add an overlay color, added, added a uh, overlay gradient on top of it and set the color for it. So I could change it here and you can see how that's set. And of course, because we're using full site editing and we're using a block theme, we have a full range of page templates that we can edit and amend, including things like your 404 page. Here's one I changed here. You can change everything about this page and also blank page template. So that's fantastic for creating landing pages. Here's one I created in about two seconds. It also comes with a nice range of template parts, which are great because then you can amend things like your header and footer. What I did in this one, I added the WooCommerce product search block into my header, which looks absolutely fantastic when you see it live. And again, this is starred in a beautiful way by the theme where you can search your products. It also supports the WooCommerce mini cart block which has nice features such as a slide out option here, which looks really cool as well. If you use our plugins, then Basti also supports our WooCommerce plugins beautifully. And here's just a few examples. This is the shop page that's been further customized using our blocks. This is the WooCommerce flip book block, which I think is absolutely beautiful. And here is our product masonry block, uh, which is also very, very nice. And also it supports, fully supports, customizing the WooCommerce product page using our WooBuilder Blocks plugin. If you want to take our Blocks plugins for a spin, I've also installed them on the OneClick website, link in description below. So there we go, there's a quick look at the Basti theme. I think it's a beautiful theme and I also think it's an important theme because it just uses the core Gutenberg blocks. There are quite a few people out there at the moment saying you need third party block libraries to be able to make Gutenberg useful. But I think this theme proves the fact that you don't, you just need beautiful design and the core Gutenberg blocks in many cases to be able to create a beautiful website. Remember, if you want to take it for a spin, there's a one click website link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, if you can hit the like button now, it would be amazing because it really, 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 really does help spread the word of the channel. And also, as you probably know by now, every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button below. Keep well, and I'll see you soon.